Hey, this is John Brantley Cole, and this is one of my how-to series, and this one is how to get an agent or manager in Hollywood. Uh, now, there are no secrets or surprises in this video. So anyway, I want to start off the bat with everybody in Hollywood is right and everyone in Hollywood is wrong, which means um, everyone's going to tell you what to do, what not to do, what to wear, what to say, uh, and what not to say. Um, just listen. Just listen to everybody. Take in what feels right to you, and then go with that. Okay, so anyway, um, let's start off. Let's make this nice and sweet. The many ways to get an agent or manager. One is the old-fashioned way, uh, and what I mean by that is good old hand submissions, uh, meaning um, you, get, you get your headshots, and then you put them in an envelope with a cover letter, and then you send them out to agents and then hopefully you'll get a call or an audition uh, uh, from the agencies and then if they like you they sign you and then they represent you um, so there's actually over 300 agencies in LA um, and that's a lot of agencies and so you need to find the right agency that will represent you so what I suggest is getting this book let me show you so this book is called The Agencies let me see if you can see that Good, good, good. The agencies. And um, you can get it at the Samuel French Bookstore in Hollywood or in Studio City. Or you can go on their website. Look up Samuel French Bookstores on Yahoo or Google and they'll send you the website. But it's called the agencies. And what happens is, is there's all the agents, all the agencies' uh, uh, departments and the names of uh, the people who are in charge of the department. But also, uh, on the front of the magazine, let me see if I can show you, there is... Agencies tips for the month. Agencies tips for the month. And what it is, is it's a list of agents uh, uh, in Hollywood and what they're looking for. So this, mag, uh, this book, what they do every month is call the agencies and, and tell them what they're looking for. So right here, Acme Talent is considering theatrical clients who can play under 35 years old right now. Um, Agency West currently seeks lots of Caucasian boys, 13 to 17, also Hispanic age and Asian actors. So if you want to submit your headshot to specific agencies that are looking for your type, uh, get this uh, monthly publication, the agencies, and see what the agencies are looking for this month and send it to those guys. This will help you a lot more and save you a lot of money so you're not just submitting it to everyone. All right, so that's one way, the old-fashioned way. Um, the second way is online submissions. Uh, I believe there are some web Websites that let you submit to agencies, and I've had friends who've actually gotten agents through the internet. There are two top websites that people go on. One is Actors Access, uh, and two is LA Casting, or Casting Networks is what they call themselves. Um, and there, once you join a membership there, uh, you can submit for independent work, commercial work, extra work, all that good stuff on your own, but at the same time, there are sections of it that lets you submit to agencies and letting agencies know that you're available. And then if they need your type, uh, uh, they'll call you, they'll submit you, they'll email you, they'll do whatever to try and get you in the office and see what you're all about. All right, so that's one way, is submitting online by joining these websites. Uh, also, you can do what I uh, haven't done a lot, but um, I know people who have casting director workshops and seminars. And what these are, are there's these uh, seminars or workshops where you pay to go in and you audition in front of casting directors, agents, associates, um, junior agents, whoever, and they um, basically hang out with you for the evening. You, you ask them questions, uh, you find out what they're looking for, what projects they're casting, and you give them your headshot at the end. Uh, some people don't like it because it's like you're paying for an audition. Uh, in a way, you are, and you are, but life's an audition. It depends on how determined you are at getting an agent or not. You might want to look into um, casting workshops and seminars. Follow the links that are being displayed around me right now. And see if that's the right uh, fit for you. Uh, I say one can't hurt. Try one out. And if you like them, go for it. Uh, just a key note, a lot of the workshops here in Los Angeles, I know New York is a little different, uh, but Los Angeles, uh, it's very rare that the actual head agent will be at these things. Uh, example, uh, Joe Schmo Agency um, uh, will be at a workshop tonight. Uh, and what they mean by that is maybe Samantha, the, uh, the associate, 
the junior agent, the person who works for Joe, will be there to look at the talent, and not Joe himself, because he is too busy. Um, in New York, Joe will actually show up. But every now and then, you will get an actual agent who will be there, and you want to grab that spot. Um, associates are fine. Junior agents are fine, actually, because they will pass your picture along to the agent if they like you. So, um, and it all has to do with your type, what they're looking for, and what they're casting right now. Meaning that just because they don't call you in doesn't mean they don't like you. It just means that um, your type uh, is already full. So if you're a blonde, blue-eyed girl in her early 20s, they might already have like six or seven of them. So just right now is not the good time. So you keep trying later. You know, so that's that's another thing. Uh, last but not least, and this is the hardest but probably the best results, is know someone. You have to know someone. And everyone knows that in Hollywood. To get anywhere in Hollywood, you got to know someone. Um, so you, if you have a friend who works at an agency, if you have a friend who's repped at an agency that you like, um, if there's some kind of connection between an agency and anyone you know, that's something you want to use. Um, uh, that's something you might want to look into is see if you know someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows someone. Um, also, uh, if you know a director or uh, a casting associate or someone, uh, uh, when you submit your headshots uh, uh, in an envelope the old-fashioned way, um, you can always put on the envelope referred, uh, industry referred. That's what you can do. That's what I used to do. My manager, uh, when I was looking for a new agent, I used to always put industry referral and then my manager's name. So my envelope was most likely to be opened other than uh, the hundreds of other envelopes that don't have anything on them. So if you have a connection, a producer, a director, or whatever, that's always good. And if you're going to submit by hand, put right there on a big post-it or on the envelope, industry referral, director, casting director, agent, manager, actor, whatever. And then um, hopefully that'll just help you one step further. All right, so that's it. I will talk to you soon. Uh, this is John Brantley Cole saying goodbye, and I hope this helped. You know what? I probably bored the people with my crap. <laughs>